you are. Bossman said you'd be up this way. Quick read. I always wanted to poke through a high gain wire. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. Ain't it the same, really? I'd say me and my piece meet each other halfway on the issue. She likes to be used, and I like to put her to good use. As so very often as I can. We can tell friend from foe, mind you. But it's probably best not to walk directly in front of us. You're A-OK, -okay, stranger. Hear that, Hudson? It's payday. Realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the safety.
Take him down! <laughs> Time to collect the fine bounty! Please, some company ammo! What was that? Take him down! Hmm? Something's What's not that? right. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Hmm, yes, I believe I do. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why you ventured here at all. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Allow me to assure you that I know absolutely nothing about any allegedly illegal broadcasts. Surely the board is aware of that. They must know I'd never involve myself in such despicable activities. There's utterly no reason to arrest anyone in this broadcast station, let alone me. In fact, you're doing me a favor by helping me disable any alleged such broadcasts, if they exist. You could do me another favor by mentioning my loyalty to the board in your report. I don't think this spell is entirely on the level. Ah, oh, damn it, Hiram. You were so close. I was just starting to like you. I'm not sure whether to be touched or insulted by that. Look, you never met a man more willing to work with the board than me. I know we can come to an agreement, please. Sophia does? What sort of an amount are we intimating here? Never mind. The details are of no matter for now. I'm happy to help the board in any way I can, for so long as they consider me a friend. The station routes all communications across Monarch. Since the company towns were abandoned, the only local transmissions coming in are from Amber Heights or Stellar Bay. My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look. I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Are you fibbing? Be honest. Have you seen Doc Wells? The guy's ancient. You take any more time and he's liable to croak. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Unfortunately, the very transmissions you were chasing earlier are the reason for our delay. MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. 
I wish it didn't, but the fact of the matter is, the children are at each other's throats. Which, of course, has scrambled my outgoing transmissions. Shut them down if you want me to route the data to Phineas. Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcasts. Ask me what you will. What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short-sighted, too. What else do you wish to know? Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews, but he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. Indeed, the information I gather usually is, or it's not worth my time investment, as you can imagine. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat-drenched and screaming. I would assume it stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. You mean between MSI the Iconoclast and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra-1 and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. Precisely, the other corporations were fleeing because of the Hazard Clause declaring Terra-1 uninhabitable. But MSI had lagged behind giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity. Take over MSI, stay here while the other corpse left, take over the planet. Precisely. Without me, they never would have done more than play revolution in hushed whispers over scuzzy kale ales in the tavern. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle, that he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally gray. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. How low you seemingly regard my trade. I may have a secret for you, for the right exchange. Not much, admittedly. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nyoka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well, that's a raptodon of another color. Not juicy enough for you. How about this, then? There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations, considering the source, but I am also not unconvinced either. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information.
How low you seemingly regard my trade. Sure, you know where to find me if you need me.
take him down! Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Used up, needed, left to settle into ruin. Exploring some ruins, killing some monsters. All we're missing is theme music.
Did I? Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? The adjutant herself? Why, I knew the board would see reason eventually, but this... This! Sir, you've prepared for this. Right. Now, see here, you may tell your corporate masters that we will deign to rejoin them on the board, but only once certain conditions are met. G oh. I suppose that means you aren't here for the Saltuna. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... It seems we're back to the drawing board. Because he's scared to go it alone. You need the board to hold your hand and tell you everything's gonna be okay. Ain't that right? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. You talk like Graham. Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? I used to be young and idealistic too, but you can't run a city on high-minded ideals. Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Well, you don't have to rub it in. I think he means to warn you about working against the board. What a notion. We want to rejoin the board, to our betterment and theirs. And my plan involves a two-pronged approach, the first part of which is seeing Stellar Bay properly defended.
Not long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting with the Bolt 52, we won't need to advertise anymore. We can stop our transmissions altogether. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. I was starting to get bored listening to you until you said the phrase extremely powerful ordinance. It is quite the rush. I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some... dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. What can I do for you? You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. No, I am a company man. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Do you think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. My, you know how to take control of a situation, don't you? It's warm in here. Is anyone else warm? What he means to say is that we won't need that frequency once we're able to get MSI restored to the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. You ever seen a real life Saltuna? What do you mean life? Saltuna comes in cans? Felix, Saltuna is a kind of fish, lives in the ocean. You knew that, right? Are you serious? You tell me there's a fish made entirely out of Saltuna? <laughs> Never mind. I I'll tell you later.
your boots? showed up, then wrapped it on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here and um now the door's locked. Little help? It's easier than it sounds, alright? Next time you get chased by raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So I'll look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. But I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Ah, no! Uh, here, you can have this. Thanks a lot, mister. Real pretty. And they got these really big teeth. You can see them up close. A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. 
All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Corporate espionage. How was that, Celia? Did I sell it? Your best delivery yet, sir. Celia? Already noted for your review, sir. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. The board just can't let Monarch go, huh? If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. Oh, she's not fun scary like you, just scary scary. But that's why you'll be equipped to handle her. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Yes, perhaps you can use this for leverage of your own. Look at us, two corporate masterminds. Right, uh, getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry, who? Ah, them. They're hardly a corporation. More like a jumped-up band of thugs with certain pretensions. The evidence I'm hoping for would implicate one of the board powers. Anti-Cleo's, Spacer's Choice, UDL... Someone of that caliber. Not that we don't appreciate your diligence. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. What can I do for you? like riddles? Is that a riddle? Because the answer is yes. Hit me with another one. All right, here goes. 
Many have heard me, but none have seen me. And I won't speak until spoken to. Looks like my kind of town. I, I don't like the way folks are looking at me, Captain. Like I'm a sandwich. Maybe I could stand a little closer to you. Want to make a run with me to Stella Bay? Awesome. Uh huh. You blind fella, or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sisty pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. I could listen to her talk for hours. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. And I'll thank you kindly for it. 